Welcome to another edition of ETV. Tiny and brilliant. LEDs are amazing and seem to be everywhere here at Electronica. In today's edition, we'll focus on all the highlights and innovations related to the theme, lighting. The United Nations has declared 2015 as the International Year of Light. Here at Electronica, light-based technologies are omnipresent. LEDs and the like play an especially important role in the automotive and infrastructure sectors. Drexelmeyer brings emotion into the car. With interior lighting, luxury and ambience become part of premium class cars. With this RGB module, we have microprocessor control through the activation of the three primary colors, red, green and blue. And for the first time, we can mix as many colors as we want. Color and brightness of the long-lasting LEDs are constant. This is possible with a detailed inspection and correction of the LEDs in the manufacturing process. In automobile infrastructure, light plays a major role. The electricity that keeps street and traffic lights lit can become a danger, however. Molex offers an innovative solution for this. If a vehicle crashes into the pole, when the pole uh, collapses, the pole then disconnects. So therefore the person in the car is safe from electrocution, but also the emergency people that are reacting to the incident are also safe to operate on the, on the person to remove them from the car. A backup tape in the passive safety pole connector pulls out the plug in the collision so that the metal mast itself does not become a conducting medium. The system works without any human intervention and complies with the latest EU standards. Also, the connection can be interrupted by hand if the mast must be moved for construction, for example. Inside or outside, automotive lighting is still determined by LEDs. They offer a great freedom of design and use increasingly less software and thus need less maintenance. Dr. Wolfgang Huhn, Director of Development Lighting at Audi AG, looks even further into the future. The next step is a laser. Laser light is uh, able to have uh, very, very high luminance and we can make very small reflectors uh, and uh, have, despite the small reflector, a good light output. This was not the case today. Today, ETV goes futuristic. I'm standing here at Asram with Bianca Schnabel, who's going to explain to us, or actually give us a live demonstration, of gesture controlling. Bianca, what are we looking at here? What you see here yeah. is the brand new gesture recognition controller from Leap Motion. Okay. It contains three of our IR Oslon Black products. Okay. And two cameras in addition. Um, the infrared LEDs are enlightening this area. Yeah. And the cameras see this picture and with the software it's just calculating where my hands are and whether I do movements or not and in what distance I do this movement. Okay, so besides looking super cool, and it does look super cool, what is it good for? If you go into Google Maps, for example, yeah. you can also zoom in and zoom out with this function. Okay. You can turn around the globe. Oh, wow. Yeah, looking to Africa, yeah, going yeah. back to Europe again, yeah. zooming in, zooming out, yeah. and everything without touching the screens. But you also can, for example, control your Microsoft Surface. Oh, wow. If you okay. like to, yeah. yeah. Just press buttons yeah. without uh, pressing without anything. touching yeah. the screen. Yeah, quite cool to play around with, yeah. and it's very convenient. Yeah, great. Lighting is a huge potential in the electrical arena. It's not just industry that calls for a wide range of applications. Lighting is also central to our normal everyday lives. Kodiko presents the smallest LEDs on the market. Their partner Plessy has made the production of gallium nitride on silicone LED chips ready for production. The dot LEDs open up new application areas, in particular in wearable technologies. You could use it in watches, uh, products that typically are worn on your wrist or on products that consumers use to uh, signal and track and monitor their well-being. Mentor presents its turnable white technology. With this you can switch seamlessly from warm to cold white color temperature. We have a microcontroller chip on board a PCB and we have uh, uh, LEDs with different colors, greenish white and red and blue for the uh, turnable white application. And the microcontroller uh, has some uh, operations where we can change the uh, 
different uh, PWMs for the uh, LED chips. Through the automatic adjustment of the color temperature, the lighting can be perfectly adapted to object or mood. The technology is used for food lighting in smart homes and sales. With the dim box from Frivo, LED lighting installations can be dimmed flicker-free. The application is conveniently operated by a Wi-Fi by a smartphone or tablet. Especially if you have a shop installation uh, where you want to dim your light according to the ambience. You can use your, your tablet and dim as necessary, raise light, increase light. And we have also the opportunity with three different channels for different colors. The non-proprietary dim box also works in conjunction with other LED drivers, so it can be easily integrated into existing lighting systems. Over the past three days, we've shown a light on various aspects of Electronica, embedded solutions, automotive, and lighting. But taking the branch as a whole, how do things look? We get an answer from Kurt Sievers, chairman of the ZVEI division, Electronic Components and Systems. The electronics and electronic component industry actually is in great shape. Um, latest data suggests that this year the growth of the global electronic component industry is going to be 6.5% over last year, which is a fantastic number, coming to a record shipment of $506 billion globally. Fantastic state, I would say. In tomorrow's edition, we'll be looking towards the future. We'll be meeting some of the younger talents in the branch, as well as talking to experts about trend-setting developments. I hope you'll join us.